we are close to the end of our summer school. And as a main organizer of the summer school, I want first of all, say a really be thank you and I'm impressed to all the students. Uh, it seems that we all run through similar phases like in the first day, oh, it's easy cheesy, we can do it. On the second day, we become a little bit nervous, maybe switch to panic mode due to the hiccups and the discovery that it's more work than expected. Then there have been this project phases typically, okay, now we have to push on, it's harder, let's do it. Then again, a little bit raised to panic, ah, did we do everything right and so on. So in this way, uh, we are now in this relaxing phase, we did it. And I must admit, you did a great job. So that's the first thing. Thank you very much also to all the mentors, the lecturers, all the persons behind the scenes who supported me in organization. So also this was really great. It started with a great presentation on the first day and it continued with the same quality of lectures and presentation throughout the whole meeting. So thank you very much also to all the other persons involved. Um, finally, what is my resume of this summer school? I absolutely liked it. This summer school goes to the list, which accounts for, yes, I will do the next one, and not for the summer schools where I said, okay, why I'm doing this. So you made me very happy. Thank you very much for this. Um, now you're for sure waiting who will be the winner, uh, but you will not be relieved. I will talk longer before you know this. So uh, I, after the jury finds the final decision, thanks for this three members, for Harrell Barris, Aaron Schenker, and Dimitri Pogdanov for spending so much time. They are in their work. And it, I know it, if you have to spend a complete morning left from your work, that's something you're not doing easy. You have to plan it and you need to want it. So thank you very much to three of you as representatives for all the other helping hands. And after they find the decision, I had a talk with them to see what are their, uh, their, their results on, and their argumentation. So. The first thing they asked me to tell you, they really saw how much you invested and in, in this job, and they said that you take really great seriously. So they felt that you really engaged yourself, that you thought about multiple things. They have been impressed by their efforts, and it was very, very hard to select. So all groups have been really close. So even I took a piece of paper during the pitching to make my personal favorite list. And I put uh, on the A4 paper, the best on the left side, the, let's say not so good on the right side. What I ended up was with a really dense cloud absolutely to the left, yeah. And for me, I have uh, yeah doubles where I wasn't really able to decide, where I almost had to roll dice. So I appreciate that the jury take this hard task to find a decision. And uh, what they finally took as the main arguments to select the winner is that they found that the approach and the presentation of the winning team and its teamwork was let's say the one who was slightly more mature than the others, uh, the one which tried to uh, answer most of the background questions, which covers most of the topics, but most in this time is again, that the distance to the others is very small. So not to make it any longer and any tearing your nerves apart, it's, it's group number three who designed the device to guide a passenger with disabled vision through a, pay, a spaceship who has been selected as winners. So I would like to ask, uh, now how do we do this now, Eli, that we highlight group members number four. I will 
check if we can highlight them. Think, yeah, the best way is to uh, unmute. Please, okay. group number four, unmute, and I will add you. Group number three, please. It's three, number sorry. three and not four. Okay, so it's Daniel, Kinga, Michael, Avi, and Daniel. Okay. And maybe you can also highlight David as the project coordinator whom I would like to ask to do this final congratulation words. Maybe I highlight the Ari, our mentor as well. That's a good idea, yeah. Um, I cannot see any un unmute. Please unmute yourself, the group. Okay, one of them. First one um, on the stage. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just, um, I, I just want to say that first of all, congratulations. And because I have to uh, sign off in like a minute or two, so I just want to thank you for uh, selecting uh, the jury for selecting uh, the group I was mentoring. And they, uh, they, I just want you to know that they really did the work uh, more or less independently after just a little bit of guidance at the beginning. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Ari. So we have Daniel already went up to the floor. It's Avi is here. Perfect. David. And Daniel is the last. Daniel Zaitsev. Yeah. Daniel. So for me, all participants are winners, just to use this technical break to, for some further announcement. And we therefore selected for all of you a kind of award. We uh, ordered with masterclass.com uh, a subscription from one month of their lectures. You will find lectures from space, enjoying an astronaut telling you how it's going on in space, what you have to obey, uh, to many other scientific lectures, and in particular also entrepreneurship lectures like how to present, how to uh, engage your business, how to find your customers. So have a look at it. Uh, it's really a cool stuff. And uh, after the meeting, you all will receive an email latest on Monday uh, with the link to your subscription. And uh, you can then enjoy this goodie and this reward for your hard work to everybody. Uh, our group and is Daniel already on the on the floor? Daniel Saitsev from PSTU. Um, Daniel, I, I cannot add you. Um, because because he's, he's not unmuted. But yeah. uh, you can find it. Uh, yeah, I, I find the name, but I think I cannot had him because it's uh, with no uh, with a black screen so if you uh, like change the video then i can join i uh, add you to the group okay yeah okay good so david may i ask you to hand over the mm -hmm. prices in a virtual way you will receive it <laughs> latest on monday too in the electronic form uh david Please do your job. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Albert. Okay, so um, uh, let me congratulate you again. Uh, Avi, Daniel, Mikhail, uh, Daniel. So you get the $1 million to start your company. Congratulations. <laughs> now, <laughs> that was only a, a joke. Couldn't help. <laughs> I wish we could give you the $1 million to start your company, but uh, you will receive a small price. Okay, uh, like a... Uh, 70 euros uh, amazon voucher to buy wow. whatever you want mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's i hope that's something cool as a, as a result of this uh, of this contest it's a small price that we can afford uh and now i guess you could say some words uh now you're in the spotlight so okay the first one i see on top is mikhail so go ahead yeah so um at first, I, I thought I uh, thought I couldn't couldn't make it because it was uh, really hard for me. So, but then I I, I sat down and, and and just thought uh, I have to do this, and um, 
then I, I spent uh, several hours of um, to to think about that how to how to do it, and I wasn't sure if this uh, was um, was um, uh, what uh, is uh, ex what was expected, um, um, and uh, but I'm glad that uh, that yeah that it was uh, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> Thank you, Mikhail. I think I think that was common ground, as, as Albert said before, right? Uh, at the beginning, all were uncertainties, but you were able, I think all groups were able to go through those uncertainties and produce a very nice uh, work. Uh, Daniel, your turn. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this project. It came up with a bit of, uh, I think that I was mostly surprised by how long the schedule was and how long it took us to tackle these issues. But with the help of the mentors and the help of my great teammates, I think we managed to do a fine job of both presenting and both designing something that is uh, cool to design and cool to manufacture. Yes, I think that would be a great product if sometimes you, either you or someone else <laughs> produces it. Uh, Avi? It was a great experience, and I, I very happy that uh, we managed to go along with it. In the beginning, there were some. Uh, it was a little bit hard, but I'm happy that we came along. And I want to thank everyone who organized it. Uh, that's it. Thank you. I don't know if Daniel, you're not in the spotlight. Daniel Sidesep, you're not in the spotlight. But if you want to say something. Okay, so if not, <laughs> then uh, I, I get to say the final words as a, as a coordinator. So first, I will, I, will, uh, I will like to thank everyone. First and foremost, uh, Albert Reitel, who is there in the spotlight for all the great work he put into this. Uh, Albert, you know, this session is being recorded and you said that you wouldn't mind organizing another contest at some point. So maybe we'll take your word for it at some point. <laughs> so thank you for, for running the show. Uh, there were some there were some issues at the beginning, but uh, of course it was not your fault. We were all a bit uh, forced to, to follow this format. So you you tackled them uh, perfectly. Uh, well, I guess although I know you, you put a lot of effort into this, I know you were you were helped by many people. So uh, my thanks also to the, all those people who participated in organizing this. Also to, to Eli Shmueli and, uh, and the people at IUCC for providing the, the platform and the technical help for all this. So thank you, Eli. Uh, everything ran, uh, ran very smoothly. Uh, and uh, whenever we have had to make change, like, uh, you know, open the breakout rooms instead of the group rooms and uh, well, change permissions and all that. So everything was done uh, fast and, and efficiently. So thank you for that. Uh, also, all the mentors, uh, thank you for being here uh, all the week, for guiding students, for uh, providing your expertise to make this a unique uh, experience. And also other uh, BioArt project uh, participants, even those who could not make it uh, this week or who were only able to be here part of the time because uh, we got to this point because of you, right? Without the previous work and the previous effort, uh, we could not have organized this, this student contest. Also, thanks uh, to the members of the external jury. Uh, Albert already said uh, you, you come you come from industry, and I know it's it's hard to to save uh, you, part of your busy time uh, to be here. So thank you very much for being here, for listening to the presentations, and. Uh, and for having to, to make a decision. So thank you, Harel, Dimitri, Eran, even Maxine, who could not be here due to, to well, uh, work reasons. So thank you, all of you. And uh, finally, but uh, <laughs> um, very important also, uh, the students, of course. So we, we all, all, all these things we, we do, all the, all the teaching, all the courses, all the lectures, uh, the student contest, everything is for, for you, <laughs> so that uh, you learn, so that you, in this case, so that you enjoy, I'm not sure about the courses, <laughs> always at least, but, <laughs> but uh, so thank you for participating, thank you for, for putting so much effort here, uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the hackathon student contest, 
I hope uh, you learned something. I hope you, you had fun. Uh, and also that you made uh, new contacts and that maybe some of these contacts uh, are kept for the future and you, you expand your, your personal networks, which I think is, is always uh, also a good and important outcome of these of this kind of events, okay? From my side, I have to say that uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I had never participated in this kind of event and it was hard uh, at the beginning and it was hard being here almost all the time during the week. But uh, I have to say that I, I learned, <laughs> I learned new things about how to organize these this kind of events, but also about the from the technical part. Okay, uh, so I, uh, I come from a signal processing and machine learning background, so I learned about uh, intelligent uh, biomaterials, for instance. I learned about pitching. I learned uh, uh, we had a very nice uh, lecture about creativity, about three D printing. Well, many topics that I'm not an expert in. Uh, so I also liked interacting with people, with students from, from different countries, with uh, mentors, uh, professors. So I think it was, a, for me, it was a very nice uh, experience and, uh, well, I would be glad to, to participate uh, in another contest again or, or even to organize it. Uh, and I know it's recorded. <laughs> so, okay, so, so just, uh, I don't want to, to, to uh, talk for very long, but uh, as project coordinators, uh, I think I'm forced to do some like some institutional <laughs> remarks at the end, okay? So uh, just uh, uh, to remind you that this student contest was uh, organized in the context of the Erasmus Plus by your art project. And uh, the main goal of the Erasmus Plus program is to support the educational, uh, professional and personal development of people through lifelong learning. So I think this just fits perfectly because uh, we were all able to learn new abilities and to be exposed to new technologies, to new uh, programs like the ones used for 3D printing and that many of you didn't know. So I think that's, that's perfect. Uh, as uh, Part of that goal, uh, another important goal is to promote learning mobility. Uh, I mentioned this because you all know that this contest was uh, not supposed to take place online. So ideally we, we should be uh, all now in the nice city of Krakow um, and uh, participate in the contest there, but unfortunately that was not possible. So we had to, to provide this online substitution, right, which I think worked out a very nice uh, su substitution. We even had an intercultural event based around pancakes, which was, <laughs> which was great, I think. So, well, I hope in the future we can retake this mobility and uh, around Europe and other countries like uh, Israel or Ukraine. Uh, also, another goal of the Erasmus Plus program is to promote non-formal and informal learning and active participation among young people, as well as cooperation, quality, inclusion, creativity, and innovation. And I think all that was uh, very present in this in this uh, summer school hackathon. So, from that point of view, I think this was a great even uh, event from the Erasmus Plus program. Finally, and I'm about to finish, don't worry, uh, just 10 pages more of speech. It's a joke, 10 lines actually. So uh, just to, to finish, um, just to let you know that the BioArt project that uh, founded, you, you can see the logo there on top of the screen. Uh, the BioArt project who funded this uh, student contest, uh, the main goal is to develop novel curriculum on, in the field of uh, biomedical engineering, uh, also focusing on biomedical implants. And as part of that, a uh, new bachelor and master degrees have been developed uh, and courses also have been developed in Ukraine and, and Israel. Uh, some of you have enjoyed uh, those courses already. Uh, and then specific goals were to contribute to the cooperation between European Union and partner countries, in this case, Ukraine and Israel. So I think that that's something that we have done in this, in this hackathon by having mixed teams with, uh, uh, well, with people from Austria, from Belgium, from Poland, uh, from Spain, uh, uh, all together with people from Ukraine and from 
and from Israel, uh, also to improve the quality of higher education and enhance its relevance for the labor market and society. And I think that's also been clearly a focus of this contest by making you or by forcing you to, to focus on the business model and, and on how to sell your product to, to a set of investors uh, from uh, who are not from the, from the academia, who are working in, in industry actually. So I think that was a uh, that was great experience, for, uh, in my opinion. Okay, and probably for you too, uh, to get a bit out of the academic world. Uh, finally, and I, I just discovered this when I was, or I just remembered this. Let's say <laughs> when I was uh, preparing this speech. Uh, another specific goal of our project is the use of modern technologies involving online training. So here the online format came perfectly because we used we made an extensive use of the of the project platform and of online technologies that we have all become very familiar with in the last year and a half, I guess. And last point, and then I will uh, finish. Uh, the last point, uh, which is also part of one of the specific goals of our project, is the creation of a durable partnership between uh, lecturers researchers, industrial partners, and students uh, from all involved countries. And I hope, well, I know part of those links have already happened. Uh, strong ties have been created uh, among some of the uh, professors and people participating in the project, but I hope this uh, hackathon will also serve, as I said before, to create links between uh, students uh, in the different institutions uh, who participated in the in the project and also with some of the industrial partners who who were present here so uh well we we we, we love our, our work we love our, our area uh and uh, we are always looking to to increase on our networks and to work and cooperate with uh, our people so just uh thank you everyone for for staying here for uh, listening me till the end and uh, and that's thank you very much for participating and I hope you all enjoyed the experience. So maybe we turn on all our microphones and give a good applause to the summer school and a particular applause to all the students who have been the main persons carrying the summer school so. Thank you, Albert, for uh, uh, managing. Uh, it was a cherry on the cream of our project, I think. And uh, thank you a lot. It was excellent and perfect. OK, so now it's the time. You can go to your weekend, turn off the camera, turn off the screen, turn off the microphone, turn off thinking about engineering, relax a few days and then switch on the thinking about engineering again and continue your bright full way into your future. So thank you very much. And I will be the first one to turn off the camera as a sign for everybody else. Bye, yeah. hope to see you soon. <laughs>